friend, and uh, I thought it would be fun. <laughs> uh, Mark was terrified on set uh, on the first day, uh, but on the last day, he was having a lot of fun. And I think he told me that he enjoyed this experience, but would never do it again. Wow, these are tough questions. How do I, again, I, I'm going to let you be the judge, and, or you in 10 years from now be the judge of that. I, we tried to make a, uh, a film that was universal, uh, even though it is very much topical and speaking directly about the issues that face all of us in this room every day. You know, uh, how much should a parent allow their child to be online uh, socially? Is it acceptable to bring your cell phone to the dinner table? These are all questions we are asking ourselves now. And so the film is asking them too, but I don't really have any answers. Uh, I think also the film, I hope, is, is about humans. And if, if you took away the technology from the film, it is still about humans and their desire to uh, be close to each other. Well, the inspiration for the film came from uh, Andrew Stern, who was the writer of the film, and he uh, he was at dinner with five or six of his friends one night when he noticed that all of his friends were on their phones. And that was the light bulb you know, for Andrew to write this entire script. I don't know if that answers the question, but I, we, we, okay, you're right, that, that's in there, that's in there. Uh, I, I didn't think of it as much as victim and the oppressor as much as uh, you know inadvertent exploitation as soon as you as soon as you put something in a, as soon as you interview someone or you film something you you are in essence uh, damaging you pop, but you have the potential of damaging it and, and exploiting it so that was it uh, we were we knew we were exploiting that there you know that, that element of, of who was exploiting who you know and that storyline so you're very right actually created this cyber crimes unit for the MIPD. And um, so I got to spend a lot of time with him. He teaches at university in New York about this, about uh, you know, cyber crime research. So, so it was a lot of time spent with, with someone who does something that I knew nothing about. I, I really didn't know that this existed, this, this cyber crime. I mean, and how extensive it is and how damaging it is how bad it is for, you know, my wife and I are sitting in the audience, we have three young boys who are constantly on the and and, and, phones and, stuff. and what I learned from the research in the film is, you know, basically how to protect my kids. So, you know, it touched me in very personal ways, the, the role of the film and uh, what it was about. Um, I believe that this film, I think Henry and Frank did such an incredible job of just telling a truthful story. And I feel like that's what's missing in uh, cinema today. And uh, of course, just what you said, it's so easy to pull back from uh, visual effects and special effects and all that. And I think, you know, it's definitely going to be a challenge to get people into the theater. But I think true emotion is what we're really missing in cinema today. And from the few screenings that we've had, and people come up to me and start to tell me what's going on in their lives, that's the types of movies that we all love and we all want to make. So I believe, with your help, we can get it out there and tell people that you know you can actually feel something when you're sitting with people. It really goes to the point of the movie. But you can sit in a dark theater with people and look around. You can see people cry and you can see people laugh and you can actually feel the real emotion that we all have. And that's the great theater, you know, great cinema and theater that we all, all love. Well, uh, I love documentaries, I make documentaries. I, I was always torn about whether or not to make a fiction film because documentaries always just felt more engrossing, more truthful. Um, you know, if you make a documentary, no one would ever say the end is to this or to that. They would just accept it because that's what you filmed. And so I've always been hesitant to make a fiction movie. Uh, because then people criticize the ideas of the script and not, they're not concentrating on the truth of, of what they're seeing. Uh, but this script was very realistic when I read it and it felt like three stories that I would absolutely 
be interested in, in, in shooting documentary stuff. And so in preparation for this, uh, this film, uh, Bill and I did a lot of research uh, and we found, I found counterpoints, uh, counterparts rather, I'm sorry, I found counterparts for every actor in this movie uh, if they wanted to meet them and spend time with them. Uh, a, a local journalist, uh, a TV reporter, uh, a cybercrime detective, a family that had lost a son or daughter to, to a suicide. Um, all these people I made available to my actors so they could spend time with them if they so cho chose. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we, the, the script, it, it, it's all there. You know, it didn't come from my research, but what the research did was it made everything very truthful. I, I, I hope there's not a dishonest note, you know, in, in the film. That was my goal, to try to film these stories as authentically as possible.